my question is should we believe in that that like the qualities of vegetarianism non alcoholism celibacy practice them so that we make our body fit so that that the kriya of 11 minutes will be more effective see uh, this is what i have been saying right through why even eating is a moral value food is about the body we must eat what is suitable for this body but right now you're talking about making food into a habit i want to tell you there is no such thing as good habit and bad habit habit means you are functioning unconsciously if you are functioning unconsciously that's a bad thing because the whole thing about being human is we are capable of doing things consciously that is the beauty of being human that we can do everything consciously what an animal does unconsciously we can do the same thing consciously we can eat unconsciously or we can eat consciously we can breathe unconsciously or we can breathe consciously everything that we can do we can do it consciously the moment we do something consciously suddenly that human being looks very refined and wonderful just because somebody walks and speaks consciously doesn't he become a beautiful human being yes or no that's all so why is it that we are trying to develop habits as if there's a good thing habit means fixed realities where you don't have to think you get up in the morning and it will happen to you no don't try to automate your life that is not efficiency that is the efficiency of the machine this one is supposed to function intelligently and consciously nobody is expecting it to function like a machine so about food and stuff food must be suitable for the body that we eat for it is for the body this is a building material for this body the food that you eating what is the appropriate food unfortunately is all messed up right now traditionally we ate very sensible in this country but this thousand years of innovations have brought other kinds of food cultures and today the national diet is pizza or pasta what is it which is one i don't know both were competing so we are losing our sense about food it's definitely time to look at what is the most suitable thing if i go into that food it's a very long process but uh, you must experiment with food not just by the tongue but by the body you eat something today and see just learn to observe how agile and how active your body feels after eating this food if it feels like it wants to go to the grave that's not good food if it feels like it wants to be alive after eating this except coffee because that's a stimulant if you eat food and your body feels very agile and alive that means it's good food body is liking it if you eat something it feels dull that means it's not liking it it's having difficulty with it that's why it feels dull so just on this basis there's a much i mean this is a very simplistic way of putting it when we say health if someone says you have no ailment it does not mean you're healthy when you wake up in the morning or you feel alive and bouncy or not the word health comes from the word whole you must have a certain sense of wholeness of body mind energy and the fundamental nature of your existence if all these things are in alignment now when you wake up in the morning you feel like you're just born if this happens to you that means you're healthy one simple thing all you girls can do is just bring 40 to 50% of the food in its raw form that means it's alive it must be a live cell it can be a vegetable it can be a fruit it can be a nut it can be sprouted gram at least 40 to 50% the food that you eat must be alive you eat dead food and you want to live this is a little difficult thing to do because you have to raise the dead now when you cook the food to digest the food all the ingredients necessary for digestion are not in the body alone the food also brings the enzymes when you cook the food you are largely destroying these enzymes minus the enzymes when you eat now the body has to struggle to reconstruct that part that has been destroyed and then only it can digest normally first one one and a half hours after eating it tends to take the body down after that slowly 
It's a covers. Have you noticed this? So food is for energy, but we are making the food in such a way that uh, it takes away energy in the first one and a half hours. Only after that, slowly, it comes back. Anyway, however good your digestive process is, still you can never reconstitu reconstitute all the enzymes that we have destroyed by cooking. Only partly we can do that. If your digestive process is very strong and good, you reconstitute about forty to fifty percent of what's been destroyed. If it is a little timid kind of digestion, it's much less. So whichever way, if you're eating cooked food, fifty to sixty percent of the food that you're eating is generally going waste, but the body has to still process that. And the amount of energy that it spends and the amount of trauma that it goes through is very big. Food means many things to many people, but essentially for the body, it's the fuel. If you put the right kind of fuel, this will be on in a certain way. If you put the wrong kind of fuel, somehow it will manage. I'm t not telling you eat this way, eat that way. Just experiment and see, all right? Just experiment and see. Tonight if you go, Instead of eating whatever cooked food, just eat fruits and see, tomorrow morning you will not need an alarm bell, you will wake up before the alarm bell. And you will see all these eyes will not be sticking like this, like that, you wake up instantly, you are bright and alert. People do not know what it means to be at absolute ease within their body. Ninety-five percent of the people do not know this, unfortunately. Because you put the wrong kind of fuel, you can keep this body like breeze, simply it goes ahead of you, you don't have to drag it wherever you go, it must float ahead of you. You can do this, just putting the right kind of fuel.